The last time the Oklahoma State Cowboys were this relevant in football, you'd have to go way back to the 1940s. Things are good at T. Boone Pickens Stadium as long as Mike Gundy stays the head coach. Managing editor Pete Futak here to discuss the Pokes and Pete. The biggest controversy outside of Gundy's job status is the quarterback position. But much like their in-state rival, you don't think it really matters who's under center. they got a great team there. Well, they got a great team all the way around, but the biggest issue now is going to be who's going to be under center. Wes Lunt just transferred. He was going to be the hot shot guy for the future. Clint Shelf, J. W. Walsh, it kind of narrows it down to those two guys, uh, but it was still going to be a quarterback fight going into the fall. It still will be, but the rest of the offense is loaded. They get just about everyone back up front. The offensive line is going to be fantastic. It's going to take a village to replace Joseph Randall running back, but they got a lot of good uh, quick backs coming in, and Josh Stewart is a superstar wide receiver. He's the next big thing for Oklahoma State. Had a monster year last season, showed he could replace Justin Blackman and be that next guy in line. They've got an abundance of riches around them, whether it's going to be Walsh, whether it's going to be tough, they're going to be just fine with this offense. Again. All right, now traditionally the Cowboys defense, they like to take the football yep. away from the opposition. But last year, though, the, under the first year of their defensive coordinator, Bill Young, it wasn't the first time they were in the top 15 nationally in forced turnovers. So where must they improve? They need, they need to force those turnovers because that's kind of the yin and the yang for Oklahoma State. They give up a bazillion yards and lots and lots of points, but they also take the ball away a lot when they were really awesome a couple years ago. Yeah, the, statistically they were bad defensively, but they made up for it with a really big play and they didn't get that last year. So what they've got to do, they can get in the backfield. That shouldn't be a problem. They just can't hit the quarterback. They've got to start coming up with more sacks, pressuring the quarterbacks in the Big 12. If you're not popping the quarterback, you've got big problems. Problems. All right, prediction time now. Two years ago, this program won 12 games. Last year, eight. What is 2013? Well, they weren't like? bad. I mean, last year was a total and complete rebuilding season. They still were pretty good. This year, a lot better. A lot of the situations are settled more. A lot of veterans coming back. I think they can go 10-2. I think they beat Mississippi State to start the season. It's a horrendous matchup for the Bulldogs. I think whenever this quarterback situation gets settled for Oklahoma State, they're going to bomb away on Mississippi State, win that game. Their problem's going to be down the road, though. they got to go to West Virginia. That's going to be a firefight. I think they're going to lose at Texas, but I think they come back late, beat Oklahoma 10-2. and two. Nice season for the Cowboys. Nice season. All right, Pete, thanks very much. To see how the Cowboys' rival will be in 2013, check out our Oklahoma preview and a complete look around the Big 12 only on CampusInsiders.com.